Hello and welcome. This is Eagle Eye 621 and today we're going to be building a compact, easy rabbit farm. The reason you're going to want a rabbit farm is to get all your rabbit's feet and in case you're just trying to collect everything, you may want the rabbit hide and the rabbit meat. The tricky part about rabbit farms is that the baby rabbits are extremely tiny. And let me demonstrate over here what I'm talking about. We have a baby and an adult in this box. And even though this is on a half slab with a trap door trying to block its way in the other block, if we press F3 and B, we can see that the baby rabbit's hitbox is actually still small enough to escape. I'm going to show you how that works by switching over to survival, grabbing these leads, and you can see if I put a lead on both of them, I try and pull them through, you can see that the baby does actually fit through. And... Not gonna let me let go. That's fine. You can stay with me. So the adult will stay, but we do need a way to contain these babies. And the way that we're gonna do that is by using this new tech right here, which is a path block, which allows us to sneak in and still be able to attack them, but is too tiny for the babies to escape. So these are the materials that we're going to need. Come on, buddy. Go run away. Go. These are the materials that we're going to need. This is for the farm itself. This is a little bit in the setup. And this is a counter system you've seen in some of my other designs. You're also going to need a shovel. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I'll link an iCard to these tools as well. And you are going to want to have a looting sword in order to take full advantage of this. So these are the same materials, just in a slightly more convenient package. And where we're going to start this is by punching two holes in the ground and putting our double chest and we're going to put a hopper on top of that and a grass block on top of this hopper if you don't have silk touch so you don't have grass you can put a dirt block there and just wait for the grass to spread obviously you need to build it somewhere where there is dirt in your world and we're not going to turn this into a path block just yet to make it a little bit easier to push the rest of these blocks. We're going to put some glass on the side and some stone all around this. And now we can hit this by right clicking with the shovel. And you can see that there is a gap now that we can attack them with. We're going to come up four glass blocks and then we're going to come up on the sides also four. And then we're going to come up on this side as well. Now over here we're going to want to be able to have a dispenser, but before we have a dispenser we're going to want to have a fence right here. But before we do that, we're actually going to just put the fence right here and put the block right here. And the reason that we're going to do that is how we're going to breed them. Now we can take a dispenser, let me just get a temporary block over here to make this easier to place and put that glass back and we can get rid of this as well nope take that back we need that one there and we need this here we're going to put a vine on the bottom and this is just to help with entity cramming you don't have to put this there but i do recommend if you have a vine that's where you want to put it we're going to put our water bucket in here and we're going to take our button and place it here so that when we're breeding them we press that button and the rabbits bounce up and down now the reason that we have this block right here is because when you're first getting your rabbits and they're all around you have to make a nice little staircase for them to go in where you can lure them with carrots or you can drag them in with a lead and when you have this block here the babies won't be able to fall down because obviously there's a solid block underneath so you can breed them up until you have enough and when you have enough you're going to take your piston and you're going to add a block on this side we're going to get our piston ready we're actually going to put a button directly onto that because we can. Now before you press that button, 
do make sure that you turn the water on so that the rabbits do pop up and down. Now, if you're worried about them escaping, and they shouldn't be able to escape, but depending on your world, they may be able to bounce against each other. You can put a fence gate right there. That's also to make sure that you don't fall in. Now, push them up and down, and once they're floating, then you can hit this button, and that will slide that fence right there. Some of the babies will come down anyways, but that's okay. We just didn't want the adults to fall down. And we can break that. We broke it on this side, and you can see that the adults won't fall through the fence, but the babies are able to fall through where they grow up, and then you can come in here with your looting sword and attack them. Now, this timing circuit over here, as you've seen before, we're going to put a dropper, not a dispenser, like this. So it's connected to this block with the button on it. We're going to put a solid block underneath it. And we're going to take our redstone lamp. And we're going to put our redstone lamp on this side so that it will light up from the front. A wooden pressure plate, and it does have to be wood. If you make that stone, it won't work. We're going to put a block over here, another block on this side, and just to mix it up a little bit, we're going to use a half slab on top to box it in. And then you're going to need to put some junk items here because this works as a despawn timer. It will spit out the seeds when you press the button, and after five minutes, it will go away. The light will turn back off, and you will be able to breed them again. So to use this farm, you come over here, you press the button, the rabbits will bounce up and down, you come in here and you hold down the right click to feed them. Now we also in the build had some extra blocks so that you can make sure you don't fall off right here if you want to. Those were included in the list. Uh, there will be a little bit of entity cramming because I spammed a whole bunch of rabbits down with the eggs, so not to worry about that. And then we let this go. The babies have fallen to the bottom, and you wait for them to grow up. Once they do grow up, and if you're squeamish, turn away. You come in here, and you can reach in there, and you can slice them all. And because this is a path block and not a full block, all of the drops will funnel down into this chest as the hopper can pick them up through that block. And when this light turns off and the item in there has despawned, you can come back and breed them again. If you've found this helpful, I would appreciate a like. And for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for stopping by.